Say welcome <laughs> to the camera. Right? Welcome to. Wait. <laughs> wow. <laughs> welcome, CK. Hi, Hawk. <laughs> well, first of all, thanks for inviting me to, yep. to, to yeah. your interview. <laughs> I mean, no one has ever interviewed me. Um, I mean, since I started uh, my YouTube channel, so this is such an honor. And oh. uh, yes, and, and uh, Hawk, you're my new friend. So very honored to be here. My name is CK and my uh, YouTube channel is Psychology. I've, I've traveled a lot. Then, you know, when we travel, we take pictures. Then I feel like one day I always wanted to visit Egypt. So I feel like this trip... I, if I just take pictures, is it's not enough. You know, I want to take the whole video. I want to video the whole trip so that I will remember it forever, forever because this opportunity only like comes once in a lifetime. So that's the, my first video. And uh, subsequently, every time I go travel, then I learn, you know, how to video edit. Then every time I travel, I will post one video. But the real blogging started during the pandemic. Oh. There's really nothing I can do But I was in Malaysia at that time And in Malaysia the situation was okay So we, we could go around the country And so there was really nothing to do and, and I could work anywhere I want Remotely at that time So I started going around uh, Malaysia And that's when the the blogging really started Okay, let's go back okay. to uh, Let's go back to <laughs> Egypt Let's go back to Egypt <laughs> Oh my gosh Okay. When was that? I think it was 2017. So 2017. before that, you didn't do any no. thing? No, I didn't do anything before that. Okay. No video. So did you start uh, a channel because of this trip or how did it happen? Yeah, I, I would say yes. I wanted to upload it to YouTube and because YouTube, I can share it very easily with all my friends and my family. And I realized a lot of people want to go to Egypt but they will never have the chance. Well, we, among our friends, like we would talk about what is your top destination. And I remember some of my cousins would say, oh, mm. Egypt w w is the top destination I want to go Why to. Why Egypt? It's, it's the first thing we study in our history uh, book in Malaysia. So that, that's very embedded to us that they have a very, very long and mysterious and very rich civilization. And I think that's why Malaysians are quite... Uh, obsessed with Egypt but a lot of people could not go because of safety reason and because they had children to take care of so I think okay I've, I filmed the whole thing as if you were yeah, traveling with me so that was the whole point of my YouTube channel the video <laughs> is on your channel yes that's video that's that, that's my oldest video so you can you, have a look at it we'll put it in the link <laughs> below you started the channel and then how did you decide to name it? I knew I was going to name it Psychology because, because of, course, of course my initial and I want people to see, to go and see. But of course, as I said, people don't have the opportunity to, to go overseas. So I take them to see all these oh, places. Oh, so it's Psychology, so see. see! Yes, so it's seeing yourself. <laughs> I thought you had. I, I thought you no, got it. No, no, it's so, not obvious. So yes, yeah, see for yourself. Go and see the world. Because I, growing up, I was a, I was a total bookworm. Uh -huh. So I read a lot, and then I thought to myself, oh, I, I'll just read it, and I don't need to travel. But I feel like traveling, going around the world, seeing it for yourself, it's much more than what the book covers. So you read a lot of books on other countries. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember. I remember the first thing I wanted for my parents was an encyclopedia. You know, like those days, right? Encyclopedia was like 24 volumes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, the I, whole bookcase. I remember I begged and begged my parents to... Beg, and that was the only thing I ever asked for, from my parents. Yeah, that was the only thing. So, so I would read all these um, foreign countries, um, the history and things like that. But I, I would say, now today, go and see it for yourself. And that's why the philosophy and the, the naming of my YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah okay. So <laughs> af after Egypt in 2017, yeah, yeah. and when was the next video that you the, put out? The next video was South Korea. Uh, it was what a, year was that? Um, I think almost the same year, like yeah, okay. about four months apart. I was there for a work trip, but I extended it and then I, I made that video, yeah. How many subscribers do you have now? Well, as of today, I'm happy to announce I crossed 26,000. So, oh my god! Yes, yes. Oh, I have... I, I'm 
I'm really super overwhelmed because um, for many years it was like few hundred, few hundred, few hundred. How did you even get those few hundred in the beginning? Like, did you tell friends? Did you? No. How how did it happen? You just it just you, very it just organically. Okay, on yeah, the, very yeah. organically. I didn't. I as I said, I shared it among friends. Yeah. So I don't. I did not promote it mm. in any way or buy ads or whatever. Nothing. So it was just to share with friends. And when did they cross a thousand subscribers? Uh, I don't know, but what I know <laughs> is when I crossed the ten thousand. Yes, when I crossed the didn't 10, you 000. didn't you know when it kind of crossed at least the one thousand two thousand? No, because the thing is, I I didn't do it for the I didn't do it. For yeah, the you views. did, and you didn't keep track. No, I didn't keep track. But I didn't do it. For you the didn't number even of subscribers. keep track of the number of views. Uh, a little bit because I, I don't really care about at the beginning at the beginning yeah. now I do care but at the beginning at the beginning I really don't care how many people watch it or how many subscribers <laughs> I have I noticed I crossed the 10,000 mark when I was uh, in Sarawak I was when? touring Sarawak during the pandemic okay yeah that's, that's the only time I knew oh I crossed 10,000 and did you celebrate? Did you? No. Oh, oh, it crossed ten thousand. Mm, that's no, okay. Was, I'll, I'll go back to my lunch. No, I was, I was, I was in a. <laughs> I remember I was in a very remote part of Sarawak. I was like, oh my god! I, I did say to the camera that uh, that was the only time that I said to the camera that oh, thank you so much. I crossed ten thousand. So did you think, oh my god, this is so great, and uh, am I an influencer or something? When I cross ten thousand, I feel <laughs> I feel like there's a responsibility to oh. to make better videos, better informative videos, and that's when I think the direction changed a little bit. This is just not just fun, but there's responsibility to make better quality. So what videos. changed in your approach? Well, I I would do more. Homework, research. Yeah, I notice you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More homework. Like, I think you know research. about Singapore more than <laughs> <I> me. <mean. laughs> well, the thing is, Hawk, the thing is, you are shooting someone's hometown. You know what I mean? That, like, th there's a saying, there's no foreign land, only the travelers are foreign. And when you shoot a, a place, it's always someone's hometown. This is always someone's uh, place where they grew up. So you have to represent that in your narrative. And the best comment I ever had is a local saying that, oh my God, this, is, this video is so well representing my country. hometown, my city or my country. So that is the best that I have uh, ever received. Planning your content is important. People, people think that we just shoot and actually it's very difficult, but good planning and, and you know, shoot the things that you want to shoot. I mean, I, I want to present content that is of interest and because it's psychology so i want to bring you to see, see places and now today it's a lot of eating <laughs> you can always shoot content that is around you you don't have to go to you know far away exotic places last two months <laughs> you've been to so many places in malaysia and singapore komodo island Komodo Island. So Komodo. So was... it's like yeah. Are you like doing two videos a week or what? No, no, no. It's one video a week every Wednesday. That's when yeah. I'm that means that you have to go to at least one place a week. Not not every video is far away. And I mean, like for instance, this trip to Indonesia was one four videos for a one week trip. Right. Well, one is Jakarta. And then one is Surabaya, and then one is Malang, and one is Komodo. So, so it's four still diff places. four different locations. Four different locations, yeah, yeah. And that one week trip, I was in four different places. You spread it out, it's a month content. One video a week upload, then it's... You started in 2017, and then the pandemic was 2020. 2020, yes. Those, in those three years before the pandemic, how many videos did you have? After, before the pandemic, I think it was like... For a year, for, a for year. year, okay. They were like major trips. Yeah, they were like major trips, like yeah. because it was a to document my vacation, so it's like far, far away places. And then the pandemic changed, changed that, changed and you that, decided yeah. that, and you did more because you were just filming in Malaysia itself. The only thing that I could shoot was food because dine in was allowed most of the time, and 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 you notice that during the pandemic, I'm always sitting down and eating. Because that was the only thing that I could yeah. shoot. So, so what happened during the pandemic is everybody left KL and they went back to their hometown. 
You're talking about Malaysian. Malaysian, yeah. So they, why do they have to go back to their hometown? Because they can work anywhere they want. Then why do they want to be in KL? Why not? Because also KL has the, the highest number of uh, infection at okay, the time. Okay, so so, so they go back to their hometown. Safety. They can be with their family. Okay, and you know it's better than you know in, by yourself in your apartment in KL. A lot of my colleagues and my friends all went back to their own hometown. So I went to their hometown. And they introduced me to their local food uh, at their hometown. And the first one was moa, I remember. It was very easy to shoot because there were no, there were no crowds. And, you know, a restaurant could only allow like 20 patrons at a time and things like that. So it's very easy to shoot. There were no children. And most of the hotel had like massive discount. So I remember staying at uh, Hilton Malacca and I was like a fraction of the price. So it was uh, really amazing and they, they upgrade me to like a su junior suite and things like that. So you came to Singapore last year, was it? Yeah, about last year. Yeah. Okay, so why, <laughs> why the... Welcome here. Thank you. <laughs> nice to have you. <laughs> so lively. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So why, why Singapore? I, I lived in uh, Kuala Lumpur for, I think, almost 12 years. Were you born there, no? No, no, no. I'm from Penang. Yeah, so I'm a very oh. all, I'm a all, I'm a very all round Penang boy because my father is from mainland Penang and my mother is from Georgetown. And I'm educated in uh, Bukit Matajam, if you guys know where it is. It's, it's uh, in the mainland. So, okay. so I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is I'm all round yeah, all Penang, Penang boy. Because, because of all the different places that I grew up in Penang. Yeah, weekend is always in Georgetown and going to school is in Bukit Matajam and I live in Butterworth. Yeah, all these places I covered when I grew up. So uh, going back to your question, I had a job offer that uh, would, would be another new chapter of my life and, and that's why I'm here now. <laughs> I mean, this, this island, every single inch has been covered, right? By like <laughs> a, so so, small. a lot of yeah. YouTubers here. I, I, I really don't know. I didn't know what to expect. So what was your offer? First video about Singapore. It was the Christmas Garden by, Gardens by the Bay Christmas uh, extravaganza. The, the light in, in, in Gardens by the Bay. That was my first video ever of Singapore because previously I didn't do any video of Singapore as well. I had a lot of high school friends that have settled in Singapore. In Singapore. Oh. We had a school, a big school reunion at Fullerton just before the uh, a year before the pandemic. So those that were, uh, had, had moved to Singapore, they all came and... And, and you came over to do... To yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just so happened to be there. And so I saw all of them and I, I knew who was in Singapore. The good thing about Singapore is it's quite easy to, to know people because um, it's really safe here and, and you can join all like hiking group, singing group, bowling group, karaoke group. So um, it's, it's very easy to, to know people here. Mm. So you have done how, how many videos of Singapore? <laughs> uh, I didn't count, but I would say almost 20 now. Yeah. <laughs> Are th is there more to do? I think so. You think so? Of course. What's your next one? Well, you just have to wait for my video. <laughs> because I did a lot of small towns, Malaysia small town. So hopefully I, I get a chance to do all these um, districts of Singapore. Yeah. Yeah, and, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. So the next one I, that is coming out is uh, Pungo, um, which I will showcase Pungo. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing about Singapore is that the district has their own stories to tell too. So. And then you read up on them and I think you know more, than, <laughs> more about Singapore than I do now. <laughs> That's what my colleagues say. That's what my channel is for, to go and see and experience it for yourself. And you get to learn so much more. For instance, these days, news were, were bombarded. 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 I can't repeat what you said. <laughs> so funny. Bombard we're bombarded with news, right? And we have certain... Um, we have certain views on, you know, certain race or certain place or certain country. But 
that's the thing about traveling is you go there and you you see it for yourself and you make your own mind what do you think about the the locals there and the food there and so on and so on. Okay, million dollar question. Yeah. Difference between Malaysia and Singapore. <laughs> well, the the biggest difference I would say is transport because in Malaysia everybody drives and in Singapore everybody takes uh, public transport. That's the, really the major difference. Are you sure about food? You know, and it's a ve- it's very subjective. Uh, food wise, I would say Singapore food is is quite good. It's quite not as good as Malaysian food, <laughs> right? Um, I, 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 <laughs> Is that right? I let you guys decide. <laughs> I, I, for me, I'm I'm from Penang. Yeah. So we we feel very superior uh, on Penang food. So <laughs> when we go everywhere, we 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 would say on oh, Penang food is the best. And, and, yeah. I love love the uh, Penang kway teow. Oh yes. The this years 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 ago. So I was there. I could have been so Gurney Drive. I went to this um, hawker center. A lot of Penang Kway Teow in Singapore, they cook it black. Oh. And no, 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 it should be white. It should be white. It should be white. Uh-huh. And it was served on uh, white leaves. White, what do you call them? They're not leaves, B- are banana they? Banana leaf, is it? Or what leaf? They are white in color. They're white in color? Yeah, they're, they're organic. I forgot what they are. You mean in Penang or in Singapore? In Penang. In Penang, white color leaf? I don't know whether I think they're leaves, but they they turn white completely, oh. right? And then they serve very small portions, it's like a handful. And then so I'll like, keep going oh, to going back and buying after I finish one. All right, let's go to Penang, and you can make a video, and I'll I'll <laughs> I'll show you where you know, yeah. What happened to Gurney Drive? What happened to Gurney Drive? But, uh, let's say just, let's just say we locals don't go to Gurney Drive to eat. Yeah. Yes, only stupid foreigners. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, the atmosphere is actually very good, you know, and uh, the you know it's it's very international um, patrons there. But we locals, we I've never like my parents would never take me there to to eat hawker food, street food, for example. We we go elsewhere. Okay, you have to tell us where now. I will go there. Yeah. I will when? go there. I have not been for, th- I'm sure, 30 years. Oh my god, Hawk, are you serious? I'm serious. <sighs> it's like, what, 45 minutes? Flight the, away. Yeah. No, An hour. one hour to fly to KL. So, therefore, two hours to Penang? No. Uh, so, 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 what is your plan, Hawk, for your YouTube channel? So, oh. my channel was started because I just wanted to put up some random videos, videos for other people to see, just mm. like why YouTube was even invented. Mm. And then, this was quite a number of years ago, and I didn't think... Much about it. Yeah, yeah, like, and at different points in time, I would be doing quite a lot of the same kind of activities. Uh-huh. Like, at one point in time, I was doing a lot of interviews. And I don't want to start a new channel for every new thing I do. Mm. I just want to keep it in the keep one. In the, mm. Yeah, so I would think of a way to name uh, the videos mm. so that they are consistent. Mm. So all the interviews, I, I did a lot of interviews mm. of uh, when, when MBS used to bring in a lot of musicals. Ah. We, um, my friend and I used to go there to interview the uh, singing stars. Right. Yeah, uh, on musicals, you know, people in the, the play. Right. And they were fun. Oh, you like yeah. you like so, you like yeah. interviewing people. I like interviewing oh, people. Cool. Oh, I think okay. I can I I can sit down and just spontaneously ask questions, questions. and mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. hopefully they talk. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, that a good, helps. A good guess helps, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, a good guess. <laughs> <laughs> so the the uh, those videos will always be named Hawk Liu interviews. Uh, whoever, who was the best person that you've ever? Uh, interview, you think? I can't say, I shouldn't be <laughs> saying who is the best, I mean, I don't think that way. But there is a difference between the different people that I, what One is nationalities. Okay. The Americans are very politically correct. Oh. They would say, <laughs> they would say all the correct things. Things are. They would tell you, when you ask one question, they give you an essay. Ah. <laughs> uh. So, all the points are oh there, right, or, okay. you know, everything. They, they think you want to know, or the audience want to know. Oh, okay. Yeah, they could get a bit serious about it. Oh. The Europeans, 
I love because they're very spontaneous. They mm. laugh and joke. Mm. And then you know they more and relaxed. They do stuff, yeah, and they they'll be less guarded uh -huh. and they'll say what they want to say, which right. I love. Oh, yeah, because it's more because you you like that. Kind of yeah, uh, yeah. atmosphere. Yeah. Okay, okay. Who would who like if you have one wish to interview a famous person or the person that you want? Who would you want to interview? I who will interview? interview Barbara Streisand. <laughs> 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 I. It'd be scary. <laughs> she is a very smart woman. But what about what about okay? What about here in Singapore? Who would you? <laughs> Who would you interview uh, here? In <laughs> no, I haven't thought about that. You haven't no, thought about no. that. The 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 prime minister? Mm, no. Um, politically correct? No, no, no. no, no. no. Barbara Streisand. No, I want someone politically incorrect. Uh -huh. <laughs> More fun. And what would you ask Barbara? I'll just have a chat. chat. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for, for this invitation and I hope all, all the success to you and your channel and I hope one day you will cross the, the 10,000 subscribers. Do you even care? Like I, When the like, numbers I'm, came up a little bit, of course you care. You care, yeah. No, yeah. but for the longest time, I had like 60-something subscribers for a long, long time. Long time. Yeah, mm. and then uh, if I can get a few tens of views mm -hmm. it's like okay someone is watching it so don't forget to subscribe to hawk liu and also to psychology yeah <laughs>